Hello folks, welcome to another uh, walkie talkie. I could call it a walkie talkie or a bussy bussy. Put in a title name yourselves. Right, okay. So since my previous video, <coughs> I got into work 15 minutes late. Nobody noticed. And I went and got my duties done the same way I normally do, day in and day out. And I finished bang on time. So whoever that dickhead was on the bus, uh, pinging paper at me and then flinging disabled slurs and whatever you were trying to do, I don't think actually worked. That's the punchline. It didn't affect my day and I got on with the rest of it. Now, to quickly pan to the next topic, what we're talking about here is Disney Pixar Inside Out 2. Inside Out 1 was bashed as a woke, woke vanity project, and this one is exactly not anything different. Personally, I think these Disney Pixar films stopped being good and became woke crap probably after Cars 1. The Cars series of films was great but most specifically you know Disney Pixar's pinnacle was Cars 1. Uh, it wasn't just a, a film about a bunch of talking cars and all that stuff it told you a very, at least three or four different, very, very exciting narratives, like... <coughs> they're lower into NASCAR racing. The story about the Route 66, and what happened, and the downfall, when they decided to build a road around it, and what happened to the locals. It was very, very interesting. It... it, it it teached about genuinely wholesome things like friendship and you know looking at things in a slightly different way uh, which Lightning McQueen the main protagonist actually really needed. Cars 2 was more it was just a wee fun thing where Lightning McQueen uh, put aside his mode of stock car and turned into a drift car and went all sorts of places like uh, London, uh, Japan uh, and it was teamed up with Forever Mate Mater. Cars 3 was really good because the uh, one thing it definitely did articulate in the loudest terms possible was aging. So very very good band of films to watch and I tell you something see if you're a NASCAR fan or had experienced Route 66 oh my goodness it, it really really powers power punches your emotions really hard Cars 1 was really uh, punch hard and punch fast with your emotions it was great it was really great. I mean, I talked to people in forums, uh, both uh, Route 66 and NASCAR, and uh, yeah, the, uh, out of about 10 people we were talking, we ended up going into a group. Only two people didn't cry. So there's, a, uh, there's that piece. Uh, what else to say? <coughs> Bob Ag's been reported and they will be uh, looking to approach the coach company called Avondale. I don't know why it's called Avondale coaches when they're little dinky buses. And I was trying to explain to the police as well. These buses are, are not bought in brand new for Avondale. He, whenever buses get up decrepit and old break down, he has to go to some place and can like hand me down some Blackpool, London I've seen <clears throat> one or two from ye olde first bus that's like first bus Stirling and first bus uh, Plymouth so of course 
you know, getting lands a farm, you know, when, when you think it, you, you'd automatically think, I bet the CCTV system isn't working. I bet there's no hard drive in that wee caddy box up, uh, up at a uh, roof height. According to my friend who interviewed the bus driver, uh, informally, uh, it is a hard drive and it's functional and the CCTV is on. So that's quite nice to hear. So hopefully, you know, I don't normally get police involved in things. I don't really, I don't really approve of it. But if there's not only assault but audible hate crime being caused, oh, well, I'm sorry, but uh, absolutely not. The ch chocks are off the table now. Now the thing is, as I said previous video. This is six minutes. The you know I I did specify with the police uh, talking to me. I don't want want him to be treated under the hums of useless hate crime law. Uh, um, and the police did agree. I I said to the policewoman, I don't really think it would be useful or valid to organise a 7am breaking down the door just to get all his digital equipment to see you know for, for for what he did because you know as I said the words like mongo, retard etc isn't quite enough it isn't quite enough in warrant to uh, bolster someone's door down at 7 o'clock in the morning and get a digital equipment. Now, uh, things are obviously at a very early stage of things, and uh, I'll be recontacted once the CCTV is downloaded, and it's completely, it's completely uh, still in my hand which way it goes. But there has been a a crime report raised, and. They hope to try and get him with his mum because nothing like bravery by uh, standing beside your mother. Uh, but anyway, this is getting a wee bit too long. This, so I'm going to end up this. Uh, much love to you all and to the two involved in the incident. Fuck you. And I hope you enjoy a set of fucking cuffs. Ta-da!